Hello everyone, this is Brett Kemp here with The Space Between. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm gonna do something different. Instead of just talking about one specific video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the idea behind the channel. It's kind of changed basically in the last, I would say, couple days or week. The Space Between is now gonna be a channel that has it has four parts now. I'm also going to create a fifth part, just like a hand. I want, that's kind of what I think. I want five parts to it. Something about that for me feels whole. And it also allows me and all of you a wonderful opportunity for us to create a community and what I like to call a virtual playground. That's my idea now for the space between. And we'll have the five different components of the overall channel of the space between. So you've seen the component where I talk about our mind and relating it to quantum physics with my last video, me in front of the cave, and then that video where I was in the bedroom talking about how we have 98% of the same thoughts we do the day before. And that led to this idea that the space between is the overall and then the space between is going to be the science component to the channel. So I'm going to continue to make those videos for an audience that wants to learn about self-transformation, transformation in general, and who are into science and space and who, who see transformation as not just some like earthy idea with meditation, but there's uh, tons of scientific proof and research of the power of quantum physics and being able to change the wiring that's been happening in our brain from our past experiences and how the brain has plasticity. Plasticity, that's a tough word for me to say. And that means it's not fixed, it can change. So you can, things that have been firing and wiring together can shift and you can break those connections and create new firing, uh, firing and wiring. And in fact, there was a really great study that was done, I can't remember where, I think it was in California somewhere, that proved this incredible theory, which was, I'm going to say, talk about this really briefly. There was a, two different groups. One group was about learning to play a scale on a piano, and they had to practice the specific scale a certain amount of time every day. Then they had this other group that also had to practice this scale, but guess what? They never touch a piano. They're not supposed to ever touch a piano. They just imagine it in their mind, seeing their fingers. They, you close your eyes, keep them open. That's up to them, I imagine. And you see yourself playing the piano. And what science um, proved, which is amazing, it's kind of incredible and magical, actually. The parts of your brain that change when you learn something new, like piano or playing basketball, actually change. And they see that change in our brain patterns and all that stuff. I'm not going to get into that. Whether or not the people actually touched a piano. So parts of our brain started to develop just from imagining touching a piano. Same thing with uh, basketball players. So this isn't some just out there idea. There is so much scientific proof and evidence to prove that our imagination and thinking of doing something actually starts to fire and wire these um, things in our brain together as if that event has already happened. To me, that's magical. I, I don't really know how else to say that. And that's an amazing thing that we're all a part of in this world. So you have the space between component, which, oh, excuse me, well, that's the whole channel. Then you have the, the five components. And I'm gonna have the scientific side, so for anyone who likes science, and like I said, space, and he wants to learn about self-transformation from a scientific point of view, where it will always be about different layers of quantum physics um, coming from a book that I read. And I'm not here to endorse anything, but I will say Joe Dispenza's Breaking the Habits of Being Yourself definitely changed my life. And um, again, I'm in no way, uh, shape, or form, or at a place where I'm getting any money to say that, but it did. So why not share that with other people? So that's that component. Then if you saw a couple days ago, I did something called um, jumper cable. 
I'm dyslexic, so I always want to switch those two around. Jumper cable, like jumper cables for a car. You know, you have your positive and your negative, and you get that jolt of energy. Well, I created that for all creatives, which I believe everybody's creative, all artists out there. I also believe everybody's artists. Whether you choose to crack away at that or not, or choose that path, it's up to you. But you're a part of the creative process creation. You came into the world, so you also have that ability. So I made that channel with this desire that anybody who's sitting down to write or do graphic design or paint or sculpt or write music or whatever your creative thing is woodworking i don't care what it is that if they watch that video maybe they'll get some inspiration to you know um tempt the muses if you will so that's why it's in it's titled that because i want people i wanted to jump start your creativity with so hopefully, uh, you know, a poem that really can speak to speak to you and speak to artists and seeing some beautiful imagery and that w I love the beginning when you, which if you haven't seen it, hopefully you will go check it out of somebody, um, which now I'm ruining it for you, right? Whatever. Um, someone's like jumping into the uh, into the screen, you'll see at the beginning. And to me, that's magical because it's a childlike spirit to be jumping off a cliff and into a pool and relinquishing control and allowing yourself to also trust that if there's water down there or a net or something that you'll be okay if you do take that leap. So that is for the audience that of um, people that decide to join me. I don't want to say follow me because I don't, I don't want to see that this way. I'm going to reframe that language for myself and I'm going to do my best to reframe that for everybody else out there too. I don't want followers. We shouldn't want followers. We want people to join us. Let's create a community where there aren't any, um, where there isn't a hierarchy of one person in charge, a dictatorship, or even a couple people in charge. I'm not, I'm not endorsing anarchy. I'm just saying I think we should all see that everybody should be at the same level. Um, the, the, ever, ever, the same playing field. Let's let's create a community. Let's join together. So that is for those uh, people that want the, the the audience that wants to jumpstart their creativity. So I'm that's 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 what that's all about. So I have the space between the overall um, the overall channel, but again, the science part will be the component that matches up with those words. Then um, jumper cable which is going to be for the cre the creatives and artists to hopefully inspire them. Um, there was somebody in my life, in my past, who I recently connected with. I'm not going to mention their name, but she's been so wonderful because she's been really, really, really supportive. And I'm brand new and I, I didn't exist on social media for so long because really it's not, it's not, um, how do I say this? It's crazy because it's not the world I want to, be in, but I'm kind of now have to be in the sense because I I have so much I want to share. So um, you kind of had to play the game, but you can decide how you're going to play the game. You can break the rules, right? And I'm going to break the rules. Um, I'm definitely a rule breaker. So she's been so wonderfully supportive. And so I kind of had to give her a shout out because just one person believing you, and I'm not saying my family doesn't believe in me or, or anybody else, but that one person has really made a difference. So Thank you so much. You know who you are. And um, so you have the component of the space between the jumper cable, and then you're going to have the component of the talkbacks. So I'm going to do talkbacks so you can kind of get behind the scenes and I'll do more. That will be, start to be much more interesting when I'm turning into this into a bigger production. I have more money behind it. Um, it won't just be in necessarily in my apartment and I'll be able to, you really get to see the behind the scenes, which then makes you feel like you're a part of this, which is exactly what I want. You are a part of this. If I'm going to create a community, you're going to be on this journey with me and together. And I'm not, I'm not leading you. I'm just, I'm just doing what I love and I just want to have people around me who enjoy what I'm talking about, who also feel that way as well. Um, and just to preface that before I continue to tell the other couple components, I'm going to read off this. So the space between for me is a community of artists, thinkers, dreamers, where inclusion and equality break down the barriers and build bridges of connection, uniting us all by closing the gap in the space between you and me through the magical lens of empathy, instead of looking for answers, acceptance, validation, and approval inside a computer screen. And yes, I get the irony and hypocrisy here of me doing this, but I think you understand what I'm saying. I'm trying to 
break those ideas. I don't want anybody looking to a screen to gain their validation or, or start to define themselves how other people see you. That's the worst thing that any of us can do. So that's what the space between is all about. Um, so we've got the space between with the science component. And then we talked about the jumper cable. And then the newest one is going to be, I'm just checking to make sure I have this right. The one I just posted yesterday, the coffee shop prophecies. That is gonna be for anyone who wants to see something that where we talk about things that are hard to talk about. Um, it might not be, as some people say, positive, and, and, but I don't see it that way at all. Also, a constant positive thinking or only thinking everything needs to be positive is actually emotional avoidance. And um, if Martin Luther King would have thought that way and said things he didn't want people, he didn't think people wanted to hear, he wouldn't have changed the face of our nation. And in no way am I comparing myself to Martin Luther King. I'm making a point. So it's going to be hard to hear, but it's going to be a place for me at first and then other people. That's the dream. I'm going to have other people in my virtual coffee shop to start creating poems or, or uh, um, just, you know, they don't have to be poems, but talking about things that they're they're passionate about but really also worried about where we're headed that's what the you know prophet i'm i'm seeing like george orwell in um his famous book which is escaping my memory of course right in this moment uh 19 it's either 1980 or 1984 right uh there's my dyslexia for you but i'm sure everybody knows what i'm talking about what he said in that book is exactly where we are headed and it's very scary because in my lifetime, easily, I could see a situation where I'll be in my apartment like this and there will be either a camera or something, and I don't just mean my phone, who is constantly watching me, constantly, with our future and of technology and the powers that be. So the coffee shop is for people who want to take a real hard look through the lens of the world right now and see where we might be headed that is a very scary place it's in no way negative it's the exact opposite i'm i you you have to bring attention and awareness to something to change it you can't just say everything's great and everything's fine and oh just stop thinking that way i'm sorry that's one not how our brain works and two that's not how human beings work and again that is emotional avoidance so anyways that's the coffee house part and then the talkbacks, I already talked about that. So those are the four components. The fifth component is going to be something definitely around music, my love for writing music. I have been writing music for a very long time and it's something that I am deeply passionate about. So anybody who's into music, that audience that I, that I reach out to when I do that part of the channel, anybody who loves music and who loves storytelling because the music that I write will be around storytelling as well always everything i do is going to be storytelling based and driven because that's who i am with my background as a storyteller as an actor and as a and as a performer but um now really using those passions to do something much more than than what actors are doing and, and people which are wonderful please don't think i'm saying anything else actors are wonderful people they are bringing beautiful stories in the world that need to be heard and filmmakers and and uh, authors books they're doing amazing things and contributing something to the world and that's what i'm trying to do i am trying to be a contribution in the way that i can and how i can is through those talents but really deeper than those talents is passion and persistence um, to be creating something bigger than me, which is what the space between is also about. The whole channel is I'm trying to create a virtual playground where we can come together and bring thinkers and artists and everything that I talk about together. And at some point, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that already happening in my life that I'll have people that I can tell their stories. And honestly, I'm actually trying to look at this now globally, which I'm sure people are like, what? <laughs> you know, that's crazy. But not like I want to have a, a global company like, you know, Facebook or something. No, I have no interest in that whatsoever. I mean, globally by, again, closing the gap. I oh, know it's fun. Um, on us. And that means when I'm reaching people in India 
and um, Indonesia and Thailand and places like that with a post of a picture and a quote with um, the, the David or something and it's, and it's ringing inside of them. To me, that's a missed opportunity by everybody else because a lot of performers and um, you know big musical artists and actors and, and movie makers don't go to these parts of the world. And so these people miss out um, on opportunities for art and music and, and having performers come to them. So I want to kind of now create a way for me to include them in the conversation. I'm gonna try to make content too in the hopefully the near future that I take for, you know, not Albert Einstein. He's not the only one. He's the one in our country, but I'm going to take an astrophysicist or a big um, mover and shaker in the scientific world of India and base a story all around that, especially if it's still related to quantum physics and put and put what that person did on the map, which then puts that that country on the map. And and, and or what I really would uh, what would really be amazing is a little boy or a girl in, in one of these countries. I'm going to I'm going to once I can build a presence, I'm going to ask people to to tell me stories of a little boy, or a little girl. They know that's a that's an artist or a, or a poet or a philosopher or or a scientist or um, an engineer, whatever it is, and something that's really captivating so I can share his or her story through my creative ability and through my, through my lens of my, my ability to tell stories. So that's it. That's all. Not a, not a big undertaking or anything. Um, I know it is, and I'm doing it pretty much by myself, except my wonderful lady who is my creative director because she is so brilliant with um, her own creativity and everything. So I always have somebody to bounce stuff on, but actually shooting and editing, I'm doing that by myself. And I will get a team eventually when I can afford a team. But right now, I am loving every minute of this. I'm loving every minute to do what I love, which is to create all day long. I know that sounds crazy, but um, the Stevie Wonders of the world and, and Martin Luther King, I, which you know I already mentioned, these people, that's the air they breathe, right? This is the air that I breathe. This is what's, what's um, what makes sense for me. So... You know, I'm going to leave you guys with this. I really would love, again, any constructive criticism that you have for me so I can continue to be so much more captivating and powerful with the storytelling and with reaching you all, with creating, even though it doesn't feel like it necessarily because we're not in the room, a heart-to-heart -heart connection, even in a world of distraction and, um, you know, not being able to be next to each other, obviously, during a pandemic. So please continue to comment and, and tell me what you want to see because I really, really want to hear from, from you all. That's, that's such an important piece of all of this. And last, I haven't had a chance yet, but I have also kind of with this, because I'm all about energy and, and the universe doesn't respond to what you want. It responds to your state of being. So the universe is going to start to build up all this energy if I'm doing this every day because I'm building up all that energy. So I've been creating some t-shirts for the uh, jumper cable station and the space between and I would love to give those to people. I would absolutely love to give those to people. Of course, I'm not making any money yet. So what I think I could afford would be to get a bunch printed up and maybe send them to people that want to join this journey with me and they maybe pay just for like shipping and handling and yeah it's gonna it's the rest will come out of my pocket but it would be so amazing to have somebody who wants that and sure maybe some just want a free t-shirt I, I guess i won't know uh but still that would be really cool and i think that'd be another really fun component it's not to have a e-commerce site or something it's just to to again to me that's just bringing more energy to what i'm what i'm doing and what i'm deeply deeply passionate about and again that's trying to be a contribution in the way that i can be so thank you so much you guys for anybody who took the time to listen to this this is a little bit of a longer one but i'm not going to censor myself today i'm just going to see you know what response i get please go check out my new videos the jumper cable it's really short it's a minute and a half so when you're sitting down to write watch that and hopefully it jump starts that creativity and um, watch the coffee shop one that I just posted yesterday. Again, that's only about three and a half minutes, and it's a poem that I wrote 
and it's a, it's a fun little idea of looking like I'm at a coffee shop having an open open mic night for poetry. And again, that's where I'd love to bring people into as well when, when uh, they, could, they could bring their videos in. It would be so awesome. So thank you guys so, so, so much for everything and for watching me today. And let's keep creating a world filled with much, much more empathy, love, and compassion. All right, you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Peace. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.